Well, hello. This video is covering days 69 and 70 of my Appalachian Trail through hike. After the events of the previous video, we checked into the Doubletree Hotel and we kind of relaxed for the rest of the evening. And then the next day we visited Monticello. So that was really cool. So here's some footage that I took from that. A little nicer in there than it is here. Otherwise you can wait right here. above the bed. Jefferson was, the, he would have been the six foot, two and a half inch tall redhead in the room if he were with us right now. And this alcove bed area is six foot three. But he actually slept, propped up and put run against each other in the election of 1800 for president. <coughs> so they don't speak to each other for about 10 years. But then strangely, this letter arrives here at Monticello and it's John Adams reaching out to Jefferson, wanting to rekindle their friendship. And so Jefferson takes him up on it. And for the last 15 years of these men's lives, we can still read every letter that they wrote to each other about what it means to be a founding father and how they'll be remembered by history. So those two men ended up being friends again. So that's that's their frenemy relationship, I guess you can say. This out food, half French, half Virginia. And that's going to be things like macaroni pie, which is macaroni and cheese. Uh, there might be waffles or french fries, uh, french meal ice cream. And the dining room downstairs. Uh, excellent example of symmetry in here. Notice that there's even a mirror that we can still read today from the Cuddies. And we know that they use this space and it's documented to use. He came up over there. After Monticello, we went to Charlottesville and we just walked around. We got food there. And then after that, we went to a really good brewery. And then we went, we just went back to the hotel and hung out. And it was a really good night. And then I didn't really take a whole lot of footage. So that's why I'm combining it that day with the next day. I knew after this would be a while before I see Brian again. So I didn't record much and just focus on enjoying my time with him. Well, hello, you are hiking with Jenny on the Appalachian Trail. Today is day 70, and I just got dropped off at Humpback Rocks Picnic Area by Brian. Had a wonderful weekend together. I'm getting a late start today because we, <laughs> we stayed up late playing a board game. I wanted to spend as much time as possible with Brian before he had to leave. So I told him whenever you have to go back to the road is fine with me. And he decided that he wanted to sleep in today so we could take our time. So today uh, he dropped me off at noon, but it actually works out because I'm gonna go into Waynesboro today. I decided because the next stretch after this is the Shenandoah National Park. I probably should have researched this ahead of time, but I don't know much about like, you know, if there's a lot of options to get off trail and, and I'm just gonna go with probably not. So I figured this would be the last chance for a while that I have to go into a town. So, I just want to make sure everything is squared away for that because 
when Brian comes to visit, like I do get stuff done, but there's other things that I forget to do or that I don't have time to do. And one of them is video editing and uploading. I did get a couple videos uploaded that I had already edited, but I need to get uh, my buffer for the Shenandoah National Park. In order to do that, I needed to get a room tonight so I could edit and then upload those videos. So I have a room booked tonight at the Quality Inn. So I'm gonna probably um, get a ride from Rockfish Gap and stay tonight. So it's only gonna be a 13-ish mile day today. We're doing some climbing right now. We're actually um, headed up to Humpback Mountain. The rest of the day after that, I think is mostly downhill. The ascent didn't look too bad. I think it was something like 2,000 something feet for the day. I also didn't realize <laughs> what someone pointed out the other day about the needing a Shenandoah National Park pass permit, I should say, like a day pass and a backcountry camping permit, I think. And I think it's a new thing that you need. I think it's like $15. One of them's free, one of them's $15. And uh, I need to look into that because I don't know if that's something I need to print out. Again, really should have researched this at a time. <laughs> but uh, if I'm going into town today, I should be able to find a way that I could print it. I hope. So I'm wearing my my poncho for the first time since uh, I got it uh, a little over a week ago actually from Brian and uh, I'm also wearing my new rain skirt for the first time because it unbelievably did not rain since <laughs> and uh, it is a little rainy today but it's not like or anything it's just kind of like most of stuff dripping so just to protect my my backpack I have it on I got a little hunchback <laughs> as I climb up humpback mountain I did really love my light hard gear pack cover but the one downside to the pack cover is it has one purpose to be a pack cover the benefits of the poncho is it has multiple uses it is a pack cover it is a rain jacket it is a, a spare tarp, and this is something I've used for all of my through hikes up to this one, and I swear by it. Brian got us a room at the Double Tree, and it was like probably the nicest hotel I've ever stayed at. It was just really nice inside, and they had like a an omelet buffet sort of thing. Like they, you basically tell them what you want on your omelet and they make it for you and it was really good it's hard saying goodbye this morning but we have to say goodbye at some point so that i can finish this trail and uh and then we've got all the time we need to spend together So I just took a lunch break at the Paul Wolf Shelter, I think it's called. And while I was there, I met this really nice family that offered to give me a ride to Waynesboro, because originally I was gonna have to call somebody anyway. So I said, sure. Um, and then I had to get some water while I was gathering water. Who hikes up, but sassafras, soap, and gadget. I was wondering when they were gonna catch up to me again. Um, I knew they took some zeros and were going a little slower because uh, soap wasn't feeling good, but um, they are back at it and uh, caught up to me. And um, they're also going into Waynesboro tonight, but I think they're gonna zero there or take a couple zeros before starting Shenandoah National Park. But so I was chatting with them for a little while 
and oh, probably like a half an hour. So at this point, I'm hoping that I can still catch up to that family and I can get a ride. That was startling. Uh, I was just walking up here and uh, some bunnies just <laughs> sprang out of their little hidey hole and like started running at me. It was kind of freaky. <laughs> 863 miles into the trail. I met my first trail runner. Let it be known. Actually a really nice day for it too and nice trail for it because it's been pretty flat-ish. There's been ups, but they're not super steep. Right. I'm here and they waited for me. That's awesome.